to get into the kingdom of heaven, you need to go beyond your external observances. So to get into the kingdom of heaven, you have to go beyond your external observance and practices. So Lord is saying, the Pharisees and the scribes, they are excellent, excellent, 10 out of 10, everything perfect. Going to mass, fasting on the right day, praying at the right time. Oh, Atinima, they are good Catholics. But they don't know what kingdom of heaven is. Saint Paul defines beautifully in Romans 14, 17, what kingdom of heaven is. It is peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Not food and drink, it is peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. To experience peace and joy in the Holy Spirit, you have to go beyond external practices and go to the very essence and the meaning of what you do. Let, us, let me make it very simple. There is a saying in Proverbs I think 14 to 23, 7. As a man thinks, so his life is. As a man thinks, so his life is. It means everything depends on our thinking, our understanding, and our attitude. In other words, everything depends on your, my understanding of God, understanding of ourselves, and understanding of life. Once we get the understanding of God right, understanding of ourselves right, then everything else will fall into the right place. So it's all about understanding, not about practices. Forget about practices. They are meaningless if you have no understanding of what you do. If I have no understanding of what is happening at the altar, I'm just wasting my time because I am just doing, I'm wasting, I'm, I'm being stupid if I, don't, if I don't really get into what I am doing here at the altar. I am, I'm just wasting my time and your time. It's all about understanding what are we doing. First of all, what is our understanding of God? Our understanding of ourselves? I suppose you listen to the, the, the entrance hymns. They are very important. Sometimes they are very, they, they can speak to us and prepare us for the Mass. So try to come in time to listen to the music. Oh, God can speak to us in many ways. Many ways. So you be ready. You be ready for the surprising ways God can speak to you. Not even from the gospel here, from a music. Somebody in America or somewhere wrote that music. But the music can tell me something about God. What was, the, what was in that song? Christ has no body apart from my body. What does it say? Christ has no body apart from your body. So everybody carries the body of Christ, the, the, the person of Christ. So how do you look at other people? So God is not up there in heaven. He is in every person, in every person, in every person. So nobody is a stranger. Your brother, your sister, Oh, I belong to God's family. There comes the most important point. If, if I carry the body of Christ, if God lives in each one of us, how can we treat anybody unfairly? 
how can i be angry with you how can i be unkind to you how can i be unchristian to you how can i refuse mercy to you or compassion to you because you are my brother my sister god's family look at this way too if you refuse forgiveness to somebody or compassion to somebody or mercy to somebody you are broking the grace of god in your own life and in that person's life you see i am coming to the truth forget about practices go into mass forget about all that think about this truth if i refuse forgiveness to somebody love to somebody i am broking the grace of god in my own life and others life so it's like a blood circulation if there is no circulation in my feet i may have a heart attack you know about angioplasty what is it there's a block there is a block and that block can kill you so don't ever block the loop of grace in our life god's grace circulating circulating through you and me don't stop it anywhere don't stop it anywhere the loop of grace keep it flowing keep it flowing don't refuse forgiveness to somebody love to somebody compassion to anybody love and love and mercy towards everybody because i need that love and forgiveness of god all the moments of life just as i receive it keep it flowing towards everybody because everybody belongs to the body of christ